Ah, well, hello everybody. This is what I like to see. Look, no one's here. The gates were locked. Um, there's two cars there, but guess what? Those are company cars. No one's here except for me and my car. No one at all, just my car. Notice, because guess what time it is? That's right, it's 6.40 p.m. And I got to work more than 12 hours again because today's route was huge. I had to go to, I'm in Wichita and I had to go to Newton and then Heston, then to Walton, Peabody, Marion, Hillsboro, McPherson, and then Salina, and then drive all the way back. And I just got back and I actually got to unload my truck there. And then I get to go park this back here and I get to open this gate. Because they had to lock everything up because the warehouse guys don't come in until like 9 or 10. They go home at 5. Imagine that. I got here at 6.20 this morning and I'm still here. So now I got to find the key that unlocks this lock, which is this one. And, and I get to unlock the door, unlock the gate so that I can park the truck. Because I can't just leave it out front like I wanted to. I don't know. Gotta park it in the guy. Come on, I can't do this with one hand. There we go. Now I can open the gate. Maybe. There it goes. And you can see all the other trucks are back. There they are. And there's the transit that we can't drive because it's not ready to be driven yet. There, open both gates. This one does not want to go. Everything has to fight with me every single day. All right, now I can go park this truck that I got to drive, number 53, which needs some work done to it. Let's see if it's still doing it. Oh, look. Look, the engine light's on, the tire monitor system's messed up, and, and it's shaking. Can you see it shake? I don't know, you can feel it misfiring though. It needs to be served. I've been driving it all day. And the other thing that it does, we'll see if it'll do it. Because like you do everything else, when you try to take a video of it, oh, it won't do it. But all day today, let's put this in. Oh, I can't zoom it out. Okay, so we'll park it. And then we'll turn it off. And then, oh yeah, you... Oh, that's thought you could, but it sticks. Can't all day today. I've been doing this. Come on, you know, won't won't turn. I got the brake on. It's in park. There it goes. Turn it off. I just started it. Oh, all day. Every all day today, it's been doing that. Um, anyway, I gotta lock the doors, which don't really work because the power locks are messed up on this. I already locked the back of the big truck up. I guess I should make sure the door locked. The door's locked. Um, I have to put the put the padlock on the back of the truck. Make sure this this one's locked. That's locked. This lock, hey, it locked. All right, now I get to go lock the gate back up. After I make sure the back door is open for me. I think he said he left the back door. He's got his padlock on. Hey, you didn't put your padlock on your door. Um, whoever, whoever drove this, and it's kind of shut, but I'll be driving that truck tomorrow because it doesn't have all the issues. Is it open? It's open. Good. I can go out that way. Okay. We'll go back and we'll lock this gate up. Look, do you need a trailer? Well, too bad. That's full of stuff. So, so is that. And we still have all these sight boxes out here. Good Lord. We got sight boxes and there's two here. And there's like six more out front and there's one over there because our warehouse isn't big enough for all the stuff that we have can you believe it i i can't either now we're going to shut the gate again and then we put the lock i'm going to try to do this with one hand can i do it with one hand i don't know i've i struggle doing this with 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 two hands sometimes let me make sure i don't drum it into myself okay, well. Get this to 
go up and then we'll kick it over. Am I make it? Nope, of course not. You can't do that. Need two hands. All right, dude. And it goes in. All right. Now I can lock this. You put the lock through the hole. Everybody getting out? I can't tell. There we go. And the back gate is secure again. And there's the back gate. So again, I parked all the trucks. I can't drive that one anymore because there's something wrong with the engine. But now, 53 also has an engine problem. And its check engine light never shut off today. At least the vans shuts off sometimes. Look at our rusty door. Isn't that awesome? Ever seen rust on a door? Yep. And we're back inside. Can you see? I can't see. Oh, I can kind of see with the nighttime feature. We lock that and we lock that and that's locked. And we come over here and we make sure we turn off the power to the door. I can't see anything. I don't know it's it's right here. Oh, here it is. These two. The ones that say turn off. They're off. That's off. This is the lockup procedure in case anybody wants to know. Do you want a chair? Look at all these chairs that we have in our warehouse. There's folding chairs too, but we get these fancy, fancy chairs. And there's what the doors look like for tomorrow. In case you wonder, mine doesn't look too bad. I brought that back today because I didn't get done. But there's what I got left. Someone left their Coke can on my door. So I got some paper, it looks like. Not much. Not as much as I had today. Today I had 34 cases. What's that? You got 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 and whatever's in there. He, however, gets to do all that. And he gets that. That's for Evan tomorrow. He gets to do some restaurants. But again, this door, is that's it. It's just those two carts. And then he's got nothing on his door. And he's got no nothing. He's only got this six cases of paper. And that's it, but... There's our warehouse, and there's all the junk that we have to store for people. Who's that? It says Scott Rice Showroom. That's what the SR stands for. That's where all those chairs come from. We've got Cox stuff from Cox Communications, and who's that say? OPKS. That's uh, it says Office Plus of Kansas. And here's all our nacho chips. If you need some nacho chips, here they are. We got three pallets sitting here of nacho chips. And I gotta go put the keys up. Make sure all the doors are locked. That one's locked. And that one's locked. I guess I can do it on the way out. Let me do that. Warehouse is locked up. And our other warehouse, which is over there, that's warehouse B. You can see that. This is warehouse A. You see how big warehouse A is? It's huge. And in here is this cool room that we built for the Warren Theaters in Wichita, Kansas because, and I can't find the light switch, I never can, there it is. Anyway, so now, we have some stuff in here, but it's a pretty, this is a cool room. We had to put this whole HVAC system in here to keep everything cold, because at the time we had all this candy and chocolate and pop, and there's some more chairs. And uh, here's all our candy that's going out tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Look at all the candy that's going out tomorrow. I don't think any of these are mine. I took all my candy today. I had I didn't have this much. I had like that times two for. But here's our candy room. So if you want to order candy from us, you can. We also we have we have everything. You can get it all. That's just what's in this room. If I showed you all the warehouse, you'd blow your mind. I mean, what's the sugar? Do you want some sugar? We got pallets and we got cheese. Jalapeno cheese sauce. And you can get it by the case. Do you want ketchup? Do you want 500 little packs of ketchup? Oh, we got them. Look at that. Make sure the freezer is locked. The freezer has a lock on it. It's been locked. Okay. That light's off in there, in that room. All I got to do now is that. Ooh, did he not lock this? Oh, caught the door. He didn't lock it. That's why I check it. Make sure. That one looks like it's locked. Yep, it's all the way through. Okay, so the cold room is secure. I'll go ahead and shut this light off. All right, oh, I gotta put my key away. I almost forgot, I gotta put my key back. 
over here at this desk. This is where the keys go for all the trucks, in case you ever wanted to know. And since this one has a little tabby tab, I'm gonna put it right here. And tomorrow, I think I'm gonna take, not that piece of junk, where is, is this 52 right here? Here's 52, I'm taking this one tomorrow. I should take the key home with me. Yeah, I'm taking that one tomorrow. Can't drive that, that's the van. It's, that's how, that thing, I'm, I'm gonna drive an Eddie. Anyway, I'm out of here. So, hopefully, I don't get in trouble for videotaping all of our. You want to? You want to clean some stuff? Here you go. Have some cleaning stuff. That's ours. You can't. You can't buy that from us. That's already ours. We got our air compressor, and that's one of our tanks for the uh, forklift, which is inside the other warehouse. And okay, so again, so that one's locked. That one's locked. Mine's the only powered one because I'm special, so it doesn't have to be. You can't open it. See, look, it doesn't. It doesn't budge. It's it's locked. And then this is locked. And get that. And um, yeah, there's some more stuff. I don't know where that goes, but what a mess! Look at all that. You got papers on top of papers. Has my door got a lot of loose papers? I forgot to look. No, that's not too bad. See, how come you guys couldn't label that? You put a you put a paper under it. Sure. That's for Mitchell Theater, huh? How come you didn't just put I oh, don't mind. See they lab, see how they labeled that? How come you didn't do that to this box? Again, you put a label on that, but you left all this is loose. Why are all these on are they labeled? I guess they are labeled. But they're labeled and they're on pieces of paper. You know what? They don't even go. Those are for Tabor College. That should have went today, but since they didn't get their order in, I guess they'll go tomorrow. And then, who gets these? No labels. Again, it's supposed to have a label on it like that. I know that goes to Keen Construction, which is in Heston, Kansas. That, I don't know where these go. I guess I'll have to figure it out tomorrow. And then that's my box. And then my dolly. Alright, well, that's it for me. I gotta go lock the side door in here. We go through this door, make sure those are off. They're both off. Go in here and then. So I relocked that gate, so now I'll lock this door. And it always fights because that's how this door is. There we go, I got it. It's locked. And then I'm going to go downstairs and clock out. And that's going to be the closing procedure at my job. Of course, I got to turn all these lights out, but first we'll go over here. And you get to put your face in this thing. Oh, it let me clock out. I can't believe it. And I clocked out at 6.54 p.m. See that? I'm not lying. And then I come over here to my clipboard. And these are my times that I worked. And I write down this in here where I can actually do it. I'm going to write down 6.54 p.m. And as you see, I clocked in at 6.21 this morning. Yesterday was easy. We were closer and I was on vacation and then you see I come in at 6.20 in the morning approximately and I get off at 5, 5.22, 4.21, 4 o'clock. You know, there's an easy Friday. I got off at 1, but Thursday I got off at 5.20. Wednesday I got off at 5. So they made up for that having an easy day. That Wednesday was easy, but then I paid for it on Thursday and, and so on. As you can see, that was an easy Wednesday. Tuesday I got killed and then the rest of the week was nothing. That's the week I usually take off. That's hilarious, isn't it? But I didn't take that week off this time. There's the week I usually get and then I'm off. You see the difference? I work. And see how late I worked? And then the next week when I used to take vacations around the end of July and then this is what would happen. Now he had one hard day and then he was off at 1, off at 2.30, off at 2.30. So not 8 hour days even. And then I come back and oh yeah. I get killed. Okay, I had two three o'clock days, but I had that five forty nine and a four twenty three. That's not as that's not as you know. My four twenty three almost caught him, but that five forty nine destroys his twelve fifty five. That's five more hours I had to work that day than he did, and then his three even his threes were later than his than the two thirties. Anyway, there you go. You can see all my hours that I write because I write these down. Okay, well that's it. That's all I got for everybody. I'm gonna go out the front door and. 
start my car and go home and uh, come back and do this good morning tomorrow here's the three tickets I didn't get done today which oh no they didn't get through three cases of paper this one didn't get a case of liners and this one didn't get one case of paper I don't I get to do this tomorrow it's it's fine all right well like and subscribe and I'll try to give you more boring videos about my daily life goodbye